Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Emily. If you're not, thank you so much for coming back. So I am redoing my plant room. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm also just making my apartment more plant friendly. <laughs> so if you want to see what I've been doing for the past week, keep watching. Let's get into it. In this segment of making my apartment more plant friendly, I am replacing my shower head in the bathroom that I use for all of my plant things, like when I wash off my plants and whatnot. It does not have like an actual handheld shower head so i bought one and we are going to replace it today well i'm going to try alex is currently at work and stop trying to scratch and excuse me i'm gonna try and do it Never done it before. Pretty sure it's pretty straightforward, so we're gonna see how this goes.
call that exit a I can't talk <laughs> a success the first time I turned the water on it was leaking from right there but tightened it and now no leakage this is great I'm so excited Hello, good morning. <clears throat> well, it's not actually morning. It's my morning. <laughs> it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, <clears throat> but it's my morning. <laughs> um, it's Wednesday, which is also the start of my weekend. I've got some things planned today one of which is these stickies that I did have my golden um, trailing the wall <clears throat> I'm gonna try and take those off yeah I'm gonna try and take them off without damaging the paint and what I am also going to do I let me move you I am adding onto my wall of shelves. <clears throat> Got them right here. So that is at least what I have planned for today. At the very least um, and I might do more but as of right now that's what I have planned um, I might do some rearranging where I take this big shelf and move it back behind me underneath the show or underneath the wall shelves <clears throat> and kind of open up this window space a little bit more um and please excuse me i i think i might be getting sick maybe i hope it's just allergies but that is the plan for today so let's get into it. I remembered that <clears throat> when Alex hung the rest of these shelves he needed an extender because otherwise the drill would bang into the bracket and I have no idea where it is because that was something that was one of his tools and these are my basic tools. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, so, I'm going to manually screw these brackets onto these shelves and I am going to cross my fingers and hope that the extender that he has is in the garage so I can hang him on the wall. But let's, let's get it back into this. got my brackets on my shelves I am now gonna go look for that extender thing I'm a bobber I will be back okay I found it so now I gotta move all of this stuff and fix everything that's on the floor here when I was looking for that extender. And then I will put up the shelves.
Okay, so I added these two new ones. Alex makes it look a lot easier than what it actually is. <laughs> um, I was going to put a third one up here, but then it'd be too high because like these two, I have to get on the step ladder to be able to do anything with the plants up there. Um, <clears throat> so I just added the longest one and the shortest one. Um, I could have put the third shelf right in between those. There we go. Right in between these. Why does that look so crooked? Like, if you get so close up, like it, it looks crooked, but it's not. <laughs> like, I, um, I leveled it. It's, it's not crooked. But, anyways, then I felt like there wasn't enough distance in between this shelf and the next shelf. And I couldn't go over more because then the door would be in the way. So I'm thinking I remove these and then I could add that third shelf right on top of my um, bag of bow cabinet. But I don't know yet. So I am just going to wait for those. And so this is my wall of shelves so far. Yeah, I wish I could go over more and like kind of complete the wall. But like I said, the door would just sit there and like smack them whenever the door opened. So, there are the shelves. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and move this over and basically move these kind of in front of the window. Or I might hang the curtain rod that I have for, um, to hang some plants on. I don't know. I'm going to check the, because, hang on, I'll show you. Excuse me, Miss Stuff. Sorry for the really bad camera, <laughs> camera work. But it's just this, like, mainstays curtain rod from Walmart that, honestly, I got almost 10 years ago and just never put up. And so I'm going to read basically the fine print and see how much weight this curtain rod is actually rated for. <clears throat> and I might put that up. Um, I did actually buy a stud finder just... To put this curtain rod up so um let's move some of the little plants that are on here onto those and i might and then i'm probably going to move this over just like right here let's do that so, a little bit of a rookie mistake. I thought I was recording. I wasn't recording. So, <laughs> I moved the um, glass table that was right here, covering this outlet thing. Um, I moved the coffee table over. I got some of the plants. And I showed you this one. I'm going to show you again because I'm so proud of it. This is my um, Regal Shield. And this is the newest leaf. Look at how huge this leaf is. And it is currently popping out a new leaf. I'm so excited. This plant loves pawn. <clears throat> I'm just going to finish moving some plants over. My silver sword here needs a extension. And 
this one's my fuzzy pedigree that is in Lechuza Pond. Um, I'm going to transfer this back to soil. I was just trying something out and honestly, I don't like moss poles in pond. So, but this is the newest leaf that is still currently trying to unfurl. Still got a little crease in it and it's still hardening off. And it's already about to give me a new leaf right here. Sorry, the lighting's so bad. But very excited with this one. keep these screws for the other shelf here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my in my shot glass. It says in my defense I was left unsupervised. Which shows today. Also I don't know if um it was recording but I put um a couple of plants on the shelves and then my Hoya that just didn't fit on the shelves. I put them on my um, bag of bow right here, right there. I'm really bad at pointing on the camera. It's okay. <laughs> so just so that you can see just the mess of what I have going on very small space of being able to move this shelf let me try and fix you there here we go this is how much space. I am almost touching. I've got like an inch. We can do it. It's fine, we can do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down the shelf.
Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and it helps our helps us grow our own community inside the plant community. I will see you guys next time.